this is eFlux. It's a live video manipulation device that uses the user's conscious and subconscious actions to control what happens in the environment around them. So there's four monitors in each room that display what is happening in the opposite. So Richard here can't actually see what is happening, uh, but we can see all the embarrassing stuff that he's doing next door. Uh, it's about getting people to sort of play with it, realise what's happening in the next room, and then come through and be like, oh, that's me from five minutes ago, ten minutes ago. It's a, it's a really good interaction. Hi, I'm Jamie, this is my installation, it's called Voices from the Past and it connects you to the 1940s wartime period where you can speak to someone from the past, from Joseph Stalin to Winston Churchill. The whole theme of being encaged inside this cell and, in, and encapsulated in the war means that the war is never ending and it's very dark and sinister because of that. My installation is a scientist installation. Uh, what I'm doing is uh, creating an immersive environment for everyone who's visiting the exhibition. And what I'm using is uh, three live mics and it feeds to speakers spread out across the venue and um, it'll have its effects like playing on time and playing on space. in collaboration with Tom and it's called Sound Space. The idea is that your physical movements influence the reaction that you get from the piece. So every time you become, every time you move closer to one of the sensors, you're bringing up the level of a different part of the track. So you might bring up the kick or you might bring up the snare. And the idea is that the circles grow according to which sensor you're interacting with. Archaic Vision uses Pepper's Ghost Projection. Um, uh, uh, projects a person into two places at the same time. A lot of people are using it nowadays for production, such as making the gorillas or Tupac appear on stage, but we wanted to show that it could be done with just basic materials and it doesn't need to be overly digital. Introduction to time travel. And it's like a broken time travel machine where the people that interact with this is stuck inside of the past and the present. By interacting with this dial, it's changed the visuals and the, the people that is interaction, interacting has a feeling of past and present mixed at the same time. My installation shows how even your small actions in the present can affect things that will be there in the future, how people will change. My inspiration was the butterfly effect. To show this, I've printed lenticular images of old portraits taken from an open source library. As you walk past these images, you see that they change. Broken mirror, it focuses on the concept of fraction, space and time. The mirror works by focusing on three different stages through time. The past, the present and the latent times we see it now. And it works by projection mapping a live video feed on these shards uh, and it uses warping and delay glitches. It's called Glitch and it really just highlights the subjectiveness and contextuality of time and space. Um, time and space are a very individual thing and yeah, it really just uh, it sort of highlights uh, how people think about time and space. That's right, and we chose this tunnel, the part of the mezzanine here, which uh, just so that people could really be immersed in it, we could fill up the entire space with this uh, projection screen. And uh, when you walk in, you really feel the sound and you see the images just bigger than a person. It's, it's just a really cool space. <laughs>